Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a big warm welcome. I'm here today to do another episode of Take Free Envelopes. But just before that, I just want to show you this. Remember last time we did the um, folio for ephemera? Well, this is the finished little one and I'm sorry I didn't come back to do the um, ephemera on camera but we've had a busy time it was noisy with the children little Olivia gets hay fever and because she had a runny nose she wasn't allowed to go nursery so I couldn't really film because the children have been here so I did end up sewing in a little notepad and I won't get it all out, but it really is jam-packed with ephemera of all different bits and bobs and um, just some little different ideas that I did with the tags and the journaling cards. There's more in here. There's more in here. Uh, I'll pull some out and show you. I've got little bits and bobs that I've done. And, um, yeah, all in all, I think including the folio, um, I've got little bits and bobs like that. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's a little butterfly. We've got a couple of these lovely little playing cards that add like little nature image and then I did this as well this little bag with the butterfly and there's the tags that are in there that tag's got a little tiny one in it um, so all together including the folio that's what I was about to say there's 30 elements in there all in all so nice little ephemera pack for a journal of like a nature theme and um yeah that will be in my Etsy shop by the time this goes up because I have got oh and, and, and the bag as well that I decorated and um yeah, it felt nice. I'm sorry I didn't turn the camera on for all of the ephemera. I'll tell you what, I used to do, when I first ever started, um, I wasn't selling journals I was so much. I was doing lots of um, ephemera packs. And I haven't done one for ages. So it was nice to sort of do that, just at my own little pace. I'm popping it in there to protect it. Um... Yeah, just while I couldn't really film, and by the time like it's evening and quiet because the children are going to sleep, I was ready for bed as well. <laughs> as well, because it is tiring. I do play a lot with Olivia, but yeah, she couldn't go to school because the runny nose. Um, and they said, well, if you medicate her, so she hasn't got runny nose, she can come back. But my daughter don't want to, through the whole summer, be giving her hay fever medicine that makes kids drowsy and that. So, yeah, she didn't want to do that, so she's kept her off. But um, she's gone back this week. She's still got the runny nose. But um, I'm waiting to hear from my daughter if she actually did go back today or if they've said no, she can't go in unless she's medicated. But anyway... That's why I wasn't filming all week. But and on the weekend, it's been glorious weather. And my other daughter come over because, as I said last time, we we're allowed to be in the garden. And my garden's all being done at the minute by the kids. And, oh, yeah, it's lovely to see them outside and that. And we went to the park. And um, me... Um, we popped round to my mum and sat in her garden on the weekend. So, yeah, it's been full on. Right, so what I was thinking... I'll take a breath first, because <laughs> I'm gabbling on, and I? I'm going to make a journal this time out of our three envelopes using this padded one with bubble wrap inside. I was going to try and pop one of the things that's satisfying, isn't it? Oh, I can't. But yeah, I thought this could be the cover. 
and I've got to have two big pockets. So I'm thinking I might seal it down so that you don't get in there, but maybe that you can come in through the top because otherwise I've got to take that side off if I want to go in there. I'm a little bit undecided actually because with these I was going to seal them up and then maybe take the top off. No, I'll take the top off the outside and then we'll come into the envelopes like that. So, I've not done this, I've not done a practice one on camera. So, who knows? <laughs> I thought this would turn out like that. I thought it was a nice base, like squishy, a little bit of soft cover journal. So yeah, that's where my brain is. But I'm doing it blind for the first time with you guys. So we will learn and see if it works together along the way. I just need to peel that open a little bit. Right. So yeah, we'll be able to get in from the top, maybe to pop a little bit of a femur in. Right. And the envelopes, yeah. I'm gonna stick them down. And then we'll come in from the side with these. I could have just, I could be trying to talk with my tongue out and <laughs> sticking down the envelopes. I could have just took that flap off, but I don't want the big V. So, yeah, we'll just take a sliver. I'm doing it at the other end because I think it's um, more sturdy. Right, so that will need to be stuck down a little bit and take a little bit off of this one. Right. And I'll be sticking them on there. And we'll sew in our signatures down the middle and then we'll have a pocket at the top. But first, before we do any of that, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick the what I'm thinking is the messy side down and having the plain side up. So we wanna decorate these and we wanna get this ready so that it's not a paper bag or a, a squishy envelope and that it's a nice cover so I'm going to be sticking some fabrics on I think. I think we'll do the inside first with a bit of decoupage so I shall grab some bits and we'll do that. Right so what I'm thinking because the outside I'm going to cover with fabric and that and trim so I'm thinking you won't see this so it'll be easier for me to decoupage on the relatively flat side rather than on that side with the lip. So I've got this napkin that's quite busy and remembering we've got an envelope there and there that both want to be pockets. Oh, that was just my daughter. Olivia wasn't allowed to go back to school today because she's still got a little runny nose. Um, and so yeah they're on their way over because <laughs> she I, all through um lockdowns she's isolated with me and um it's a it's lovely because i've had kids here she's lived more with me than uh, her own house in the last year what with all this but um yeah it's been wonderful for me and um, right i'm just looking at the depth i need and where's my wet thing? Yeah, but I'll just be filming a little bit until they get here. But starting this off, so we're at episode 8 of um, these Take Free Envelopes series. 
and I do really enjoy doing them right I'm just going to stick that on like that because that will be where the spine goes my envelopes that I'm going to decoupage will be covering like that and that so I'm not worrying about that straight edge so let's get the brush and so yeah I just thought this would be a nice soft cover but with a bit of crinkle like nice texture a bit of sound um not good if it's a secret journal because <laughs> you'll be heard rustling from a distance but i think there's an um just a nice little bigger than pocket size but yeah not a full size journal it's just a nice little size i think it will turn out but yeah we shall see because like i said I've not done this before, so right that bit's all right. These are a little bit smaller than my outside, so I could go round the outsides with the same um, what's it? With the same napkin like that, yeah. That's a little plan, isn't it, to do that. I'll just have little strips going all the way round. Right, let's just pop that there. And I can see a little bit that I've missed. Right, pop that there. Oh. And so, yeah, I hope everybody is doing well and that you've been enjoying a little bit of crafty time i've not had so much time as i normally do but like i said i showed you my little bits that i've done when um it's been too noisy to film and yeah it's not been bad right so that'll fit up there i just need another long bit now Right. I need to push that down. It's not very, that's it. It wasn't wet. Right. And that. Right, I might need a little tiny bit more. And let's, I'll lock that end off. Oh, carefully. <laughs> And there we go, right. So yeah, we um, my garden's coming along all right. Um, my daughter now who's coming, who's on her way, Millie. She's um, oh, she's done a fantastic job. She's determined that I'll have a nice garden again. Cause um, yeah, I did used to have a nice garden to sit out and um, sometimes even sit and craft outside on my little table when the weather was nice but um yeah when we moved in here last year i just saw it and thought oh god i'm never ever gonna be able to get it nice but yeah lucky for me my kids are determined that that won't happen i've got to stop doing that look i've torn that bit right let's pull that bit off at the bottom That's it, because it'll only annoy me. Right. And do it again. And so, yeah, I've um, not had a chance really to film, but I am really, really pleased with how my garden's coming along. Um, they have done a fantastic job so far. They're saving me a fortune by doing it for me. But obviously I, it has to be done like when they've got time and that, you know. Um, but luckily the weather's been gorgeous. So they've even been able to stay out there like quite late and get it done for me, which is brilliant. And yeah. 
hopefully soon in the next couple of months I'll have a nice little space to sit out in but yeah as you probably all know it take, it's not just the time isn't it it's money and so I think to sort of get little bits and bobs as I go along pay for one thing we've got a rotavator coming next week and my son's going to turn all the earth over and then once that's done we've got to wait until I get paid again and then we're going to hire um, what's the next thing we've got to hire oh the whacker to whack it all down and and then sand and then that's got to be all whacked down and then I get my grass and I can't wait right so that goes up to all the edges and that so anything that will be seen slightly from underneath them will be pretty so I'm just going to dry these off and I shall be right back right they're still not completely dry so I'm going to pop it to one side because I do know that my time is limited so I'll just give that a right I thought I might as well be doing something and I can leave that to dry a little bit and right start working on these so oh I've got a bit of tissue stuck to me that's me left side and that's my right side now i found this gorgeous napkin that i think will look terrific on them but first i'm going to link around so i want to find i think purples pinks that might be nice Right. And I'll grab a bit of dark blue as well. Right. I'm going for it. And okay. Right, I've got the light blue brush first. I'm just going to drag that from the edge in. Right. And now I'm going to, I've got a darker blue. Right, I'm just going to have to grab them out. Right, the pink, the blue, I think I've got the purple. Right, so I was going to go dark blue next. Just go up a little bit where it came from and blend that. And you're not going to see much of this because again, I've got a decoupage on the top. But what you do see, I have a nice little bit of colour. different brush and I'm going to go back to purple again to transition between the pink and the blue and just come down a bit there and a bit there right and I'm going to pretty much do the same again well it's not pretty much I am doing exactly the same again <laughs> right let's think yeah into light blue no I'm going to go into dark blue this time from the purple dark blue here we are right 
and then light blue. Oh, I'm trying to put the lid on the wrong one. light pink then dark pink so let's get the light pink and I love these bright colours it really is my favourite thing when I'm doing a journal with loads and loads of colour loads of lovely fabrics and trims I just get going and sometimes I find it difficult to stop. <laughs> it really is my favourite thing to do. Right. I've just popped them down there so they're not in my way. And get rid of these. Right. Right, so I've got that that side. Let's be opening they are like that. And then I've got this lovely napkin. I might quickly do a little bit of stenciling and then put the napkin because I don't want to like use the old thing. That's lovely though, isn't it? Like the shape. If I could get some colour on that. I'm going to save it and see if it's so delicate isn't it but we'll see right um, I'll just grab out oh I'm going to have to tip it out I just Oh, maybe I could use a bit like that. Mm. That's quite a good one to do underneath. Ah, I don't like that. No. I've got another one of them that's smaller. Where's that? Oh, yeah, I can see it on this side. I think, yeah, forget the others. I'm going to use them because, yeah, I love them. I first saw them. My lovely friend Kathleen had these and um, these stencils. I was like, I need them in my life. <laughs> They're so lovely. Right, I need my colours back now. What a donut I am. Gonna follow the same kind. Oh, I've got a light pink one. Yeah. Where's the purple? Yeah, I've got the purple, light blue, and pink. Right. So, I'll have the dark blue there. Coming out. And. We've got lilac down the bottom here. Going into light pink. Oh. That's it. Oh, it's almost it. That's it. Right. And then the darker pink. And again, going into the purple. Right, blend that back. And then light blue. And 
I'll probably keep more of this on show than I was going to because isn't that just beautiful? Right, so I need to just blend that down that bottom a bit more colour. Right, and blend that. Yeah, I love it. And this one. Right. Let's see. Starting in the middle, and get that lilac coming in there, and lovely pink. There we are. So, in between, where you can see colour of the envelope. I just want to get what's left on the brush a bit. And yeah, they're going to have um, what's it called on anyway. Um, a bit of napkin as well. But yeah, it's what you can see underneath from now I have lots of colour and yeah also a lovely pattern right so I'm going to pop them back away again and from that pin I don't have to use as much just gonna let's see a little thing and I'm going to put it in half and put the other bit away and then yeah just play around with this half so this one's going to have more remember yeah that's the opening so I'm thinking I want a little bit over here like that right. and it just strengthen these little envelopes as well as really making them look lovely right. and I'll just carefully Cut the wet napkin so I can carry on using it. Obviously, it cuts better when it's dry, but I'm going to dry it off in a sec. Maybe, maybe a little thin bit going up there like that. Oh, it might start to get loud now because the kids are back. <laughs> so I said I'll just finish off doing this little bit right. oh, there we are we just had um, a little try on of all the school uniform we've been buying because Olivia does start normal school in September so my mum um, cheated her to buying some of the school uniform because my baby girl, she's so good. She goes over and she does my mum's cleaning. She does mine because I can't do what I used to be able to do. And that, yeah, she's good as gold. So, yeah, she's my mum bought some. She's bought some. I've bought some. And, um, yeah, she's all kitted out now with all her school uniform. We just tried it all on. And she looks so cute, all little in her 
you in your phone. And so, yeah, my daughter, because she's been here so much of the time, it was all delivered to here. <laughs> and I thought, right, I am filming, I could let them get on with it, but I didn't want to miss out on seeing her in her little uniform for the first time. Right. Anyway, well, these need drying, so I'm going to do that. Right, we've got nice dry envelopes. So I'm just going to give all this a trim. And yeah, just trim off the excess. Oh. And I'm in two minds now whether I want to stick them to the big en bigger envelope or if I want to stitch them to the bigger envelope. I think it might look cool to actually do some sewing, but I'm still in two minds where I think someone's bothered me, um, what's it called, nail files, I need to grab one. There we are. Nice. Give it a light sand. Straighten that up a little bit. Oh, I can see a little tiny bit we missed. I like that. Is that what's like a pocket there? Right. And that one's that side, isn't it? Mm. Right. And again, I just want to give it a little trim. This is still a bit damp, but I think it would look quite nice to stitch around. And then it would make the pocket smaller to get into, unless I peeled all this open and didn't stitch it down that side. But I don't think I want to do that because once I start pulling it about like that, it will weaken the structure of what's going to be our um, cover really to our journal so these are going to go on like that and it's still if I went right down I wouldn't be able to go along there unless oh I'll do that first stitch along the tops before I, I attach them and then stitch down so yeah, I think I'm going to do that, but this is still wet at the moment, so I can't do anything else until that dries off. So what I'll probably do is, because now we've got the kids here, and um, yeah, it, it might start getting noisy. So I'm going to try and leave this to dry, and then come back and stitch them on when the kids are asleep a bit later on but we shall see that <laughs> they, they might not be tired yet so we'll see but um yeah for the minute i'm going to leave this now as part one and we are going to be making the journal together start to finish so this will have a few quite a few parts probably because we're going to do the signatures we've got to make this lovely fabric cover out of this crinkly envelope so yeah there will be a lot to do but yeah for today I'm going to leave that where we are 
and yeah I'll come back it's still tacky when I come back we'll have all the fun of making the rest of the cover so thank you very much for joining me I really do appreciate it I am trying to get on here and there when I can but um yeah as well as like the kids and everything it um I have had a lot going on so um yeah it's been a struggle to find the time but you don't want to watch me cleaning up so i'm gonna go now <laughs> but thank you for joining me i really do appreciate every single one of you i hope you're having a lovely wonderful week and i'll see you soon thanks for watching i love you bye bye